Hi, I'm Jeff Marsacci, the Plain English Attorney, and you're at the number one place to get simple answers to complex questions. We cover topics for attorneys, financial advisors, and the general public around estate and Medicaid planning, as well as some best practices for professionals. Our mission is to dispel myths, provide you some peace of mind, and hopefully have some fun along the way. Hi, Jeffrey G. Marsacci, attorney, certified Medicaid planner, author, also known as the Plain English Attorney. And today, this is the introductory video to a series of videos going over some of the different documents in what we call the toolbox for Medicaid planning, for veterans benefit planning. Uh, in general, we use the term care assistance planning. The thing is, we always set up this toolbox to take care of varying situations because sometimes with health situations and other things and different things happening with clients' assets, we wanna make sure we have all the options on the table going forward. So it's not like, oh, well, we need these couple of documents today, so that's all we're gonna do. Because by the time we might need something else, a person might be incapacitated and we can't execute them. So we're just always setting up the whole toolbox. The problem is this often leads to confusion. Now, when we're just doing estate planning with clients, they understand a lot of the documents that are already out there. What's a durable general power attorney? What's a healthcare power attorney? What's a living will? They've heard of these things before, so it's easier to understand. But when we start talking about four different kinds of irrevocable trusts with different purposes, it does become more confusing. Now, the biggest problem in the process that we use, which is why these videos are being put together and sent out to our clients ahead of what we call a document review meeting. That document review meeting is supposed to be looking at specific things in the language. What does this mean? How does this particular thing work? But what we're finding in these document review meetings with our clients for care assistance planning we're spending the vast majority of the time going over, wait a minute, what does this document do? Why is this different? We want to make sure we're clearing up those general things so that when we get to the document review meeting, we can do the very specific questions and not have to regurgitate the whole plan and how all of this works together. That's going to be what we're doing in these videos. So please go ahead, Take a look through each of these videos for the documents that you have, line them up, and hopefully by the time we're actually sitting down and going through a document review meeting, it's more about specific questions and not, wait a minute, what does this document do? How does this document fit with everything else? That's what we're gonna try to address in these videos ahead of time so that our time together on the document review meeting becomes so much more productive. So, thank you for watching, and we hope you find these videos helpful. We hope you found that information useful and easy to understand. To keep getting this great information, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. To get even more information more quickly, follow the links below to some of our free, no-obligation programs.